welcome back to my channel today we are going to do something a little different that i haven't tried before and i'm a little bit nervous so you can see i've kind of got half face on i've got my um foundation powder bronzer blush on and everything else i'm going to put on my face are from my ipsy glam bag and my ipsy glam bag plus bags what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss the glam bag versus the glam bag plus so many goodies to talk about and so many things so the first thing i'm going to do is just show you everything in the bag they sent us a farah brush this is the shade and blend and it's a double ended blush so you've got a double ended brush you've got the tapered end here and then you've got like the shadow side here it's a synthetic um brush and it's got like a kind of holographic handle super cute super pretty there's also a velveteen cream shadow from a brand called inm cosmetics and this is in the shade super base so we're going to go ahead and play with that and it's like a purpley silvery shifting material it really reminds me of the ColourPop super shock shadows so interested to get into that i also got a radiant glow highlighter by by IBY Beauty. This is Shattered. This is one of the few things that have ever come in my Ipsy bag damage. And then I got a uh, Pixie H2O Skin Drink Gel from Pixie. It's a smaller size. And there's also a mini eggplant. Well, Papa Recipe is the brand, but it's an eggplant clearing cleansing foam. So, what are we gonna be able to use out of here? So we're gonna definitely use the brush, we're definitely going to use the highlight, and we're going to try to get the Velveteen eye color on in some way. The two skincare items, the hydrating gel and the cleanser are not unfortunately gonna be able to be something we're gonna play with today, but that's okay. Another day, we'll follow up with that later. So I'm gonna set these three aside. And then this is my first Ipsy Glam Bag Plus box. And this is by a brand called Goju Skincare. There was the Il Maquillage, and this is the Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. And I think this is that brand where like they try to uh, market to like the woman who is like high maintenance, is, is their marketing scheme for high maintenance women. So I'm kind of curious to try this. I also got two lip pencils from Il Masqua. There's a red shade and a pink shade. So I am intending to I brought a pink lipstick and a red lipstick to try both of them out. And there is something from uh, Wander Beauty. So you can see the color story is really, really nice. Yes to superfoods, Asian botanicals, real results, multitasking, high performance ingredients, no to parabens, parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, phthalates, and animal cruelty. All good things. And then it has the eight super blacks essence. Like black sesame oil, black seaweed, black tea, shiitake mushrooms, black rice, Korean black raspberry, nettles, and chia seeds. So I did try this. It is a, before I put on my foundation, I did use a little bit of this. It is a um, kind of flesh tone color and I thought maybe it would give me a little bit of extra coverage but I did not notice extra coverage. And it looks like with the Glam Bag Plus, we're gonna get to try all the products except for the Face Hero, the Face Hero Oil. Uh, we're not gonna get to try that today, but again, I will keep you posted. Let's go ahead and do a quick eye look to see what we can come up with with this eye palette from Wander Beauty. We're gonna turn the music up and see what happens. and they got really messy really quick <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and show them to you really fast Your blood 
you just He knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Let's talk about a few things. So, I showed you the swatches for the Wonder Beauty palette. Now, is this I look pretty? Yes. Did I have a ton of fallout? Yes. Was the matte powdery? Yes. Again, not deal breakers. Here's my biggest issue with this palette. And it's the blue shade. And as I was using it, I didn't know if you saw but as I use this, it is a beautiful, deep, sapphire, cobalt blue in the pan. It even swatches beautifully. Like, I don't remember if you remember that swatch from earlier. That blue, that bright blue. Heck, let's do it again because it's so stinking pretty. Ready? My wrinkly old hand. <laughs> so freaking pretty. Looks blue there. The minute I go in onto the eye with the blue, it immediately goes dark. It goes ashy, it goes gray. I don't know why, and it kind of makes me mad because that's like the the star of the show right there. I mean, you can get these other colors anywhere, but this one really is what sells it. So it just kind of is disappointing to me that, you know, this gorgeous golden reef color is falling out all over my face. And I'm using my finger and I can tell you that doesn't happen with my Anastasia sh shadows. You know, some of my other higher end, even my Violet Boss, you saw me kind of supplement a little bit to do my brow bone with my Violet Boss palette. Doesn't happen. But with the, these are just all over the place. And I use my fingers for my foiled metallics all the time. So, I don't know why it does that. And also, the lasting power isn't here. So, what is it with Wander Beauty? I don't know. I just, overall, I'm just so disappointed because the packaging is super cute, the color story is really cute, but it just doesn't perform. And then, let's talk about this um, IMN Cosmetic shadow that I did on the lower lash line which was really pretty. It swashes, again, really well. It's a really pretty lilac color. It's a cream shadow, and it did, it blended under there really nice. It, you know, I didn't have to go too, back and forth too many times. It really had, like, that pigmentation and lasting power. But I just, remember I just got this one in BoxyCharm from Ciate London, my Eye Luster Cream Shadow. Look at the undertones. I mean, this, yes, this has a gold shift, this has a blue shift, but look, it's that purple lilac -y color. So now I've been given in my subscription boxes two of these lilac -y purple shadows. This one's, I think, better. This one I've been playing with more and I really ranted and raved about it in the beginning. I don't want to give my final opinion yet, but this one's slowly losing ground with me only because it, it just, it's just more fussy than it's worth is what I'm finding. But again, I'm still playing, like I'm still playing. But now that I have this, I feel a little bit better. So it just goes to show you, you're gonna get sometimes some of the same things. We got a highlight, we didn't do that yet. And like I said, this is busted. Look at that, look. Oh, I don't know. I think this shade is going to be too dark. It's awfully dark. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. But I don't want to think about no other than us. They look at me. to judge. I don't know. I think it might be too dark. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not going out, so it's no big deal. But usually I would dust along the forehead and then down the nose and the cutest bow. But oh, yeah. I didn't talk about the mascara. I love this. Like, it did go on and do a pretty good job. So this one is definitely good. I'm pretty happy about that. All the time. I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway I will pause here and say that 
it's creamy going on. I didn't have to pull and tug at my lips to get to go on, but it's dry. It is not an emollient lip liner, which is good by me because I'm getting older and starting to get the fine lines around my lips. So that's okay. I'm not, that's not a bad thing, but I just wanted to let you know kind of what the consistency was. It does dry down like a, like a mat. But what about it? Yeah, he's got a bad history. But I want him anyway. So look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look Let's go in with the red. This is in the shade Lust. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. I love a good red. I don't wear red in the summer very much. I typically wear it in the winter and especially around the holidays because I'm cliche like that. Um, okay, let's let's round it up. Let's get it together because I've been filming for half an hour and I'm getting punchy. Ultimately, I didn't say it in the beginning, but the Ipsy Glam bag, the traditional bag that comes in the little pink envelope is $10 a month. And I've been getting it for probably close to two and a half years now, maybe three. I love this month's bag. I feel like this skincare was kind of meh. Um, Pixi isn't necessarily a bad brand, but the other one I never even heard of. So, I mean, again, might be great, might be good stuff. I might be, you know, judging before I have the, like, before I should be judging. Um, but as far as what I got in it, really bummed about the highlighter and I am quasi bummed about the liquid eyeshadow only because I got a shade similar, but that's better. So I mean, like I said, quasi bummed. Um, and the brush was amazing. The Farrah brushes are really good. I love them. I'm pretty happy. I was not very happy with last month's bag. I rated it a two out of five. This one, I would probably rate a three out of five. So they haven't really had my heart. Um, as far as my first month with my glam or my glam bag plus box, I am, they're killing me. Like maybe I'm getting to be too picky. I don't know. Am I wrong? Tell me in the comments below if I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm getting picky. I don't know. I felt like this had, I had such dreams for him. I had such dreams for you. I might keep it and play with it some more because I really do love the color story and the ocean is my favorite, but I don't know. This one might be going to find a home with somebody else. The lip pencils, I was actually gonna break down and buy some, so I was really happy to have them. I really, really love these. Felt like both colors suited my skin tone just fine. Was really pleasantly surprised with the Il Maquillage um, mascara. The only thing I can tell I'm gonna hate about it is look how dirty that tube is and I've only used it this one time. I literally took it out of the box for this video. So, uh, the Yensa primer, jury's out. I've only been wearing this foundation for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I mean, if my foundation can't hold up for 20 or 30 minutes, then it should be in the trash girl. Like your foundation should hold up better than that no matter what you put underneath it like it should have a little more lasting power i did use the healthy skin foundation from positions formula i really really love this stuff again the only thing is, is your hands get dirty and then they touch the silver and it gets dirty but again minor complaint um and then the hello hero face oil i just had to throw out my face oil so i'm kind of interested to try this out it has a lot of really interesting ingredients so stay tuned for a follow-up from that but otherwise, I would rate the Glant. This is my first box. This is a $25 box, so it's $15 more expensive than the bag. $4 more expensive than BoxyCharm. Did it stomp BoxyCharm? But this month, mm -mm, no. I mean, BoxyCharm kind of struggled a little bit, but BoxyCharm had higher name brand. I will put the value of the two items up on the screen. If you liked this video, can you give it a thumbs up or comment below? Did you get the same things as me? Did you get some different things? Let me know, what did you think? Overall, I'm not disappointed, but I have to admit, I did not do backflips over my first Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Hopefully next month will be a little bit better and I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, and next month, my June Boxy Boxy Charm is the Boxy Lux.
again rambling have a great night subscribe if you're not subscribed already i do a monthly video on all these services i am not sponsored i pay for these bags and boxes out of my own pocket be really great if you would subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye